Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a play on a recipe we've already got on our website. We're doing a chicken teriyaki sandwich. Show you a couple ticks and tricks. You guys watch this. All right, so this video is all about a recipe we've already uh, done one time. We're gonna make a couple changes to it, but if you're not familiar, we have a website, theflattopking.com. This recipe right here is printed off of there, so you'll see exactly how it's laid out. Hawaiian teriyaki beef. It was from a, a family out of Hawaii that wanted to let us know the true nature of a teriyaki sauce. Um, the reason why we mentioned this is because not every video that we shoot goes on the website because there's just not enough time in the day and it takes so long to create a recipe. So this is definitely gonna be on the website. We're gonna make a couple uh, changes that I like based on this recipe. But that just goes to show you that when you go there, you can see awesome recipes that we try to get up there as fast as possible. But with being summertime, we both have full-time jobs. We're both doing other things. It just takes so much time to do everything. So we're kind of getting split one way or the other. And we have like really, really in-depth instructions on the website with pictures, step-by-step -step and everything. Yeah, and it goes back to the idea of what we funded our foundation of the channel on is trying to teach. We even try to teach in our recipes. It's not just as simple as turn it on, cook it, marinate it, and go. I still try to do the same thing in our recipes that we do out here on the porch, which is try to teach. Enough of that, let's get going. We have a really quick, easy recipe today, okay? Our Weber's on, we got a saute skillet uh, heating up nicely. We're going to reduce a teriyaki sauce inside the skillet. We have uh, soy sauce, sugar, ginger garlic, mirin. I'm gonna add just a little bit of um, uh, sriracha because I like the heat. We got some pounded out chicken breasts. I've basically just taken a chicken breast, cut it in half and pounded out the best pieces. These are scraps that we can still cook up and I can have those for a snack. <laughs> All right. We have some red onion. We're gonna leave whole, slice it in slices, try to get some char on that. Then I'm gonna show you quickly how I... <gasps> oh shit. Note to self, don't grab the pineapple by the leaves. It does fall. But the whole <laughs> idea is I'm gonna show you really quickly how I like to break down a pineapple, okay? First things first, let's start reducing the sauce. Everything goes in the skillet and we're just gonna reduce this nicely. Remember, this is gonna be more of a glaze for our chicken, so you want that consistency, okay? Smells amazing already. I know there's a lot of people out there that say, well, this is not a direct recipe that I have for teriyaki sauce. Remember, this was an authentic recipe uh, from a family in Hawaii, and this was before the pineapples were introduced, the brown sugar, and so forth. So that's why we did this recipe, to give a great nod to them. Hawaiian teriyaki. Yep. All right, really quickly on the onion, Save that for your stock. You can break it down, dice it up. Now we're going to cut nice medallions. Once you got the onions cut, just take the skins off. You'll be good to go. To that, we're going to try to get a char on the onions. A little oil. That griddle is piping hot. Just a touch of salt on the onion on the presentation side. Okay, We're gonna let this go on the griddle for a long time. I wanna char on the onion. Matter of fact, we're gonna put a press on it. See how our sauce is reducing nicely? I've got this right side off. I've got the left two sides, or maybe your right side, whatever it is, on high. Remember, this needs to be more like a glaze, not a sauce. So just move it over, keep working it. You're gonna follow the pineapple down. I do this on melons, I do this on oranges, any type of a, um, fruit that you can replicate this. This is exactly how we do it. Watermelons, melons, um, pineapple, you name it. It doesn't matter how big your knife is. We talked about this when we did our knife video. You're only focused about really this part of the pineapple, okay? 
your inside of the line is gonna follow the natural pineapple color colorizations, what I call it. I don't really know what it is. The outside skin. So what you're gonna do is follow the pattern of the pineapple, stay inside the outside of the skin. See? So when you get one wide, you need to adjust for that. I'm not looking at the front part of the knife at all, just working it down. Keep an eye on your sauce, don't let it get away from you. See the difference in the depth of how we're foaming? Now we're starting to build on top of each other. We're getting very, very, very close. Remember, this will uh, thicken up as it cools down. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and move it from the heat. Oh yeah, a little bit more oil. This is exactly what I wanted, exactly what I wanted. Mm. Find that new landing zone, just like that. I'm gonna take a ring or two out of it, so I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. If I was not doing this, let me show you really quick while we're on the pineapple kick, because I like to teach, okay? You would just cut your pineapple in half, flat surface, you could core it, and then with the edge of your knife, you follow that core right down. And then there is your pineapple chunks, tidbits, just like that. You can use a melon baller, scoop, parry knife, whatever you want to. I just take the core right out of it. A little bit of uh, sugar. Our onions are just about done. Nice dose of sugar on this. On the one side. Move that over to the cool zone. Just a touch of oil. Same method. Sugar side down. Yep. All right, our sauce is done. It's cooling down. Onions are cooling down. Pineapple is cooking. Salt and pepper on the chicken, both sides. Just like that. Woo, yeah. When you add that sugar to the pineapple and you get the pineapple off the griddle, you gotta clean your griddle right away. Don't let that sugar caramelize and get on your griddle and ruin it. Toast some brioche buns. You just want to cook your chicken until done. All right, it's time to build. So for one of them, I'm going to do sriracha. Take that chicken while it's still hot. Coat it in that teriyaki sauce. Come back in with that grilled pineapple. That grilled onion. I know it seems like a lot of onion, but when you cook it like this, it becomes sweet. It's a nice balance. And then just top it off. That's my version of Hawaiian chicken based on a recipe that's way, way older than me. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. Classic, simple. We already know it's fantastic. We snuck a bite. We'll show you guys what the inside looks like a little bit. That juicy chicken, mm. the pineapple, the onion. Mm. 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 <laughs> Let me 
me try, let me try. What do you, what do you have all over you? Well, that's why you wear an apron. <laughs> oh, for you? Yeah, for me. <laughs> mm. You're worried about the red onion. You're worried about not being able to bite through the pineapple. I think cooking the pineapple mm. helps that. Mm. 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 The sriracha is not even overpowering. Mm -mm. I like the sriracha. That's good. That's good. It's different. If you are looking for an excellent Hawaiian teriyaki sauce, this is it right here. Let me uh. Just with just with the chicken and the glaze, it's so. Let good. me spread some more light on the advanced griddlers or cookers. Mmm, that's so good. <laughs> Cooks, chefs, whatever. While you're reducing your soft sauce, if you sear a chicken on both sides and then finish it off in the sauce, you can get away with that too. The problem is, is we try to teach to a broad audience. If you're new at this and you try it, there's a easier way to overcook your chicken. And I'd rather much have perfectly cooked chicken and add the sauce separate than to cook the chicken in the sauce and let it reduce and become one. There's really not that much of a big difference but it definitely could help. So just keep that in mind. The sauce is fantastic. <laughs> That's good. Oh, good. We gonna finish this video? I think the last four or five videos we've done have been like really, really good. You made some super good sandwiches lately. <laughs> That's it. Uh, really, words just don't, I mean, fantastic. The, the teriyaki is perfect the only other option that we forgot to do which i was going to try but honestly after eating it i don't think it would matter would be that keepy style mayonnaise um but this is i was going to mix the mayonnaise and the teriyaki sauce to make kind of like a little spread but i don't think it needs it it doesn't need it i don't think it needs it the at teriyaki all. sauce is perfect as is yep if you guys are interested we have a join button down below it's a membership program we thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so check us out on the griddle group on facebook is where we talk about griddles where we got uh, contacted about this uh, recipe from his family traditions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Mm.